Hello everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to The Book Refuge and welcome to my August TBR. I know, I like to get this up early, but I'm very excited. Everyone that I needed to get back to me got back to me on time and you know what? So much for trying to make my TBR smaller for August. I believe my book slump has been busted, so that's what we're hoping for. I'm hoping that I kicked it to the curb so we'll be able to get through these. But I'm very excited. The beginning of August is going to bring us the Romance Takeover Readathon Light vs. Dark. So I'll be talking about the books that I currently have picked for that. Um, those might change around a little bit. We don't know. Um, but yeah, there's also, I believe, like 12 books coming out in August that I'm either reading an arc for or plan to read when they come out. So it's going to be a lot but let's go ahead and get started because i like these videos not to be too terribly long so the as always we want to start out with what the book club books are for the month so the book for rake appreciation appreciation society which is a historical romance book club with my best friend um crystal's bookish life we are going way back to the beginning of historical romance time um, not to the very very first because I kindly asked that we not read the very first one <laughs> but we're going to take on The Wolf and the Dove by Kathleen E. Woodwiss um, this is one of the first ones I think this one was from the 70s as well yep 1974 and the audiobooks for a bunch of Kathleen's books were recently produced, so there are now audiobooks for these. We try to only pick books that have audiobooks to choose from, just to be kind to a lot of our readers. But this book, this is going to be another really long one. This one is over 500 pages, so plan accordingly. The live show for this one will be on the 18th, and it will be on Crystal's channel, like normal, at 7 p.m. Central. Cannot wait to to do this. I mean, I'm hesitant, but I'm also excited because I do love the history of it all. And then the next book we'll be reading for Este Amalong and things are going to get crazy is uh, Empire of Storms. Look at this beautiful cover. These are my covers from the Dusty Shop. Um, this is, uh, well, I won't tell you who it is in case you don't know, but there's this. And also here's the back. Aren't they glorious? I just love them so much. They look fantastic. So this book is our book for the month of August. And the live show for this one will also be on Crystal's channel. Um, and it's going to be on the 28th. So I'm so excited to dive into this. I just did my reread of Akamath and it was amazing. So very excited for this beauty. All right, then we have the books that I will be rereading, um, mostly for patrons. Um, patrons. Um, but first, we'll start with the book that is the exclusive read for Patreon. Um, this book, once a month, they get to vote on a book that I will do an exclusive review, which means I don't review it on this channel. I'll say what my like rating is for it but I won't go into any details so if you'll want to know my thoughts on this book you'll have to join my patreon at the seven dollar level or higher um, it means a lot to me if you do you also will get access to all of the previous videos that I've done they're all available as soon as you sign up so know that but that book that was picked the theme this time was falling for your sibling and the book they picked was moonrise by Inez Johnson and I believe this is a werewolf faded mate and the it's it's also mixed with like a while you were sleeping retelling I don't know if you know that movie from when you were young but I do I loved while you were sleeping with Sandra Bullock but the heroine I guess kind of rescues this man and she says that she's his fiance so that she's able to stay with him in the hospital and then when his brother who I believe is a werewolf approaches to see he realizes that this woman beside his brother's bedside is his faded mate it sounds amazing I can't wait to try it so that's going to be the exclusive book review now the books that were picked for me to annotate I'm very excited about um, there is Ivan very excited to reread Ivan uh, Between Wrath and Mercy which is a wonderful choice since 
Between Hope and Despair is coming in August, so very glad to reread this book <clears throat> to prepare myself for that. Ruthless Creatures, of course, I love to get a reread of any of the books from the Queens and Monsters series. Wolf Gone Wild, here's mine with a pretty little whoop, step back here. Um, someone picked this one, very excited to uh, reread Wolf Gone Wild. I love, love um, Mateo and Evie are amazing. And then two people picked Lifeblood, so can't wait to reread Lifeblood. Um, I should be getting the Ark of Zephyr soon, and I'm very excited for that. So those are the books that are reread ones for me. So now the uh, books that I will get ARCs for, advanced reader copies, or else I didn't sign up for an ARC, but like I plan to read them as soon as they come out, are as follows. And they are a lot. So here we go. As I've mentioned, Between Hope and Despair, um, this book comes out on the 27th, but I will get an arc for this one. I've been chosen for her arc team for that one. Um, Embers by Claire Kent. This one comes out on the, on the 9th. And this is the next book in her Kindled series, which she is adding some books to. Chosen by a Sinner by Michelle Hurd. This comes out on the 8th. Uh, cannot wait to read that one. It's going to be amazing. Um, Force of Nature by Sky Warren and Amelia Wilde comes out on the 9th. This one is um, going to be a Tarzan retelling, and it's part of the Midnight Dynasty. So excited about that. Also, Death Adder by Naomi Lucas. That one comes out on the 14th, I think. The next book in her Naga Bride series. Um, the Consigliere by Serena Ackroyd comes out on the 18th. And then The Oracle comes out two weeks later, I think. So they're really close together. Pen Pal by JT Geisinger comes out on the 16th. Very excited about that. Also, Mafia Madman. I forgot to write that on my list. I'm going to add it. But Mafia Madman comes out soon, too. Uh, Love on the Brain by Allie Hazelwood. I have an arc for that one. I can't wait to read that. That comes out on the 23rd. Mercy by Sarah Kate comes out on the 25th. Very excited. Sweet Like Poison from Jay Wolf is out on the 24th. Moon Blooded Breeding Clinic by C.M. Nacosta is the 27th. Then the next book in um, this series. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, so it's the Mafia Wars New York, and I can't remember what book four is called, but that one is supposed to be out soon too. And then The Do-Over by T.L. Swan. So those are all books that I will either have arcs for or I will read them as soon as I possibly can, and there's a lot. So then the last thing I want to talk about is the books that I have planned for the Romance Takeover Readathon. If you want to know more of the details and what I'm talking about, I will link the announcement video up here. Now, some of the books that I've just listed as ARCs or new ones, if they come out the week of the readathon, I will also be fitting those into this TBR. But otherwise, I picked all books that were from my book rec form. Okay, I've talked about this. This is a book rec form. It is listed down below during every video I do. You can recommend books to me. I have had over 650 books recommended in the last year, um, and I've read about 75 of them, which is great. And whenever there's readathons, I try to read those books because when you recommend the book, you tell me the book and the author and then what the tropes are. So when I have a readathon, and I get to like pick tropes, you know, like for the light versus dark, there are tropes such as forced marriage, BDSM, gay romance, plus size heroine. Those are all tropes that are going to be in this. And so then I can go through my book rec form and find books that match it. So I picked, um, I think 10 or so that I'm going to try to get to and we'll see how well that I do. So I'm going to show you three that I have physical copies of. So I want to try to get to First Semester by QB Tyler, as well as Always Been You by QB Tyler. These ones should cover Age Gap, Forbidden Romance, Taboo Romance. These ones should cover prompts like this. 
And then I had Christina sent me Sweetest Sin by Sosie Frost. This is a priest romance. Um, there aren't a ton of priest romances out there, so this is one I want to try to read for the readathon as well. Then there is Claimed by the Orc Prince by Lionel Hart. This is a gay fantasy romance. I'm here for it. Um, Go Deep by Rilsey Adams. I think this is a friends to lovers like erotica short one. Taking What's Mine by Alexa Riley. This one I think from what I read is supposed to be like an assassin stalker one so it'll cover those. Charge by Kate C. Wells. I want to read more of Kate C. Wells and this one is a motorcycle romance. I've heard from some of my friends that these ones aren't too obnoxious for a motorcycle romance so I'm gonna try that. Um, Devil's Pawn by Natasha Knight. This one is a mafia with a forced marriage, I think. There is a difference between an arranged and a forced marriage, obviously. Consent being the main difference. The Danger You Know by Lily White. I don't know what this one is about. I can't remember, but I want to do that one. And then The Dom Who Loved Me by Lexi Blake. And that one will have BDSM. Um, and I think it's an older widowed woman in that one. So... There we go. Those are all the books that I have the plans to read. Hopefully I will read them all plus some. But let me know which books you're excited to read in August. Let me know if you're excited for the readathon. I can't wait. I will have uh, more posts about that on my Instagram as well as we're going to have reading sprints every single day of the readathon. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. It's going to be really fun. So thank you so much for watching this video. It means so much to me that you support me here. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit the bell to get notified when I upload it because YouTube is slowly strangling us of those things. So people are not seeing my videos. So if you're wondering why you haven't seen me, it's because YouTube doesn't want to show you to me. See, so we have to make them. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.